What's going on people and welcome back to another Premier League predictions for this week for game week 26. Lots of games, let's get into it, let's waste no time. Manchester City first up half 12 on Saturday, taking Newcastle on. I think they're both inconsistent at the moment. A very interesting time for these two to play each other. Obviously we, Manchester United, just knocked Newcastle out in the final, um, beat them in the final. But they, they had a pretty good showing in that final for a little while. Um, so, all respect to them. And City, talent and squad depth, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a lot of teams in world football, let alone just in the Premier League, than Manchester City. But this season, and this is what's great about football, you can spend all the money you want and it doesn't necessarily guarantee success. Because everyone's human. Everyone has to go on that pitch on the day and perform. And that's why football's so great. Saying that, I've edged this one to Manchester City by one goal and I'm going to go 2-1. Next up, starting the three o'clock kickoffs, we've got Arsenal versus Bournemouth. Arsenal getting a fantastic win against Everton the other day, which I thought would be a little bit of a banana skin because Sean Dyche has recently took over there. But it wasn't the case and full, full respect to Arsenal, they, they dealt with them pretty easily and convincingly and got a good goal difference uh, boost. So I'm going to go 2-0 to Arsenal in that one. Aston Villa versus Crystal Palace. I'm going to go again, another home win to, to Villa in that. I think Palace, I love watching them, but they're very inconsistent. They're missing a number nine. If they had a number nine, they would be firing. I think if like the likes of an Ivan Tony went there, that's exactly what they need because they create a lot, but they don't have that clinical striker in the box. Emery is turning them around slowly but surely, and I think that they will get a win being at home. I'm going to go 2-0. Next up, we got Brighton versus West Ham. Tricky one's cool because West Ham are a little bit on the rise at the moment and Brighton are a little bit inconsistent themselves. But being at, at home, I've gone with a home team again. I've gone 2-0 to Brighton. Chelsea versus Leeds. I've actually gone with a surprise away win, which to some people might not be a surprise because of, of Chelsea's struggles this season. But um, Leeds are definitely struggling too. But I just feel the way it's going with Chelsea at the moment is things just aren't going for them. They're not getting lucky in games. They're not getting decisions. But they're not performing either. Um, and I think Leeds might might take them by surprise a bit and, and snatch a win. So I've gone for a 1-0 upset in that to Leeds. Wolves versus Tottenham. I've gone with a 1-1 in that one. I think Tottenham, I say it every week, they're horrible to watch. But they do grind out results. Wolves, I think, they, they're looking more dangerous than they were at the start of the season. And I expected it when Lopate took over. I thought he would do a decent job. And I think he is getting there slowly. I think they'll get a point in this at least. So I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Half five to finish off Saturday's games. We've got Southampton versus Leicester City. Southampton desperate to pick up more points and get out of that danger zone. Leicester themselves will be too because they're in and amongst it. I think this depends on if Madison plays. Didn't play against Manchester United, obviously, and I think that benefited us hugely. I think I really rate Madison, and I think if he plays, it could be a different game. If he doesn't, it's going to be hard for them. I've gone with a 2-1 Southampton win. Two games on Sunday. First one at 2 o'clock. We've got Nottingham Forest taking on Everton. Cooper versus Dyche, and I think they cancel each other out. I think Forest might be slight favourites being at home, and they're on a probably a bit of a better recent run. But Everton have got a few decent results in the few last weeks, so I think Dyche has enough experience to to go up against teams like Forest that are quite new to the league and get something, even though they're away. And they're going to want a response from that 4-0 drubbing from Arsenal, so I'm going to go for a 1-1 in that one. And then lastly, for Sunday's games at half four, we've got the big one, Liverpool versus Manchester United. If you'd have asked me this for the last, I don't know, probably 10 seasons or, or more, possibly, I would have said there's no chance we're getting a result there. But with how Liverpool have struggled this year, I'm very confident we can go there and win. And I have predicted us to win. And I've gone for a 2-0 away win to Manchester United. I think we're in better form than they are. We're probably a better team than they are now and we've got more confidence than they've got and we're producing and they're not and I think we're going to go there. I think we will go to Anfield on Sunday and pick up the three points. I'm going with a 2-0 win, another clean sheet 
Let's have it. Then lastly, guys, for this week's predictions, we've got on the Monday at 8 o'clock, Brentford versus Fulham. Could be a great game. Um, I think it has the potential to be a very exciting game with quite a few goals. Both like to attack. Tactically, both interesting teams to analyse and, and watch. They're both overachieving, I think, for the squad they have. But full credit to both managers, Frank and Silva. They're both quality managers and I love watching their teams. I love watching Brentford and I love watching Fulham. So I think that could be arguably one of the games of the week. And people might look at that and think they're small teams. But look at where they are on the table, both in the top 10, both outperforming a lot of teams. So I think it's going to be a good game. I'm going to go over 2-2 in that one. So that is it for this week's Premier League predictions, guys. Let me know yours in the comments who your team has and how you fancy your chances for this week. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. Share it to your friends. Make sure you're subscribed and get your friends to subscribe. And I'll be back later today with a preview for the Anfield game, Liverpool against Manchester United. Dropping later today. Look out for that, guys. Speak to you soon.